Hello, I'm Sinman 3G. I will be portraying different patients in various scenarios throughout the semester. My identity will change in each scenario, so make sure you identify me upon entering my room. Makeup and props will be used to increase the realism of the scenario. These may include bruising, burns, edema, rashes, or abrasions. For example, this laceration on my head. Now, for some of the basics. Make sure you always wash your hands prior to touching me. I am allergic to ink, so make sure you keep all writing devices away from me and ensure that you have no ink on your hands. Hi, my name is Tracy. I'm going to be one of your nurses today. And I'm Tanya. Can you tell us your name? My name is Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hello. Okay, nice to meet you. Let's begin with my clinical features. As you have noticed, I'm able to speak with you and also hear everything you say through the microphones in my ears and mounted on the ceiling. I can also see you with the assistance of two cameras located in each simulation suite and in the nurse's Starting at my head, my pupils are reactive to light. Tanya will demonstrate this feature with a pin light. I have secretions that include sweat, ear, eye, nasal drainage, and salivation. I can even have bleeding wounds on various parts of my body. Today, I have a scalp laceration. And when you see the red tubing attached, that's simply a part of the moulage. It's not a drainage tube. I will display circumoral cyanosis if my SpO2 falls below 90%. You may notice a blue light in my mouth. You are able to place oxygen delivery devices, such as a nasal cannula or mask, insert an oral airway, intubate and provide ventilations via mask or bag valve mask if I need respiratory assistance. My neck has a couple of features. It can become stiff to force you to use the jaw thrust method during ventilations. I have palpable carotid arteries bilaterally. I also may have a tracheotomy tube inserted. My chest has multiple features. My chest rises and falls with respirations. I have heart and lung sounds anteriorly, laterally, posteriorly, in order for you to adequately hear my heart and lung sounds, I will stop the movement in my chest so that you do not hear any interference from my mechanical parts. Do not worry, I am still alive as long as you hear my respirations and heart sounds. I will resume chest movement when you are no longer auscultating. You will not be able to assess blood pressure or pulses when my chest is not moving. I have advanced features that allow ECG cables to connect to me in order to monitor heart rhythms. When you get the leads connected, you just touch the screen, your rhythm, and right will appear. Chest compressions may be performed, and I will be able to monitor your performance to let you know if they are adequate. I also may be defibrillated if necessary. My abdomen has bowel sounds in all four quadrants and may become distended if air gets in my stomach. I can also urinate spontaneously and provide urine return upon insertion of a catheter. I may have male or female genitalia. My extremities have bilateral pulses at the radial, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial, and pedal sides. I have a brachial pulse on my left upper arm. I only have blood pressure in my left arm. I do not have brachial pulses in my anacubita fossa but you may place your stethoscope there to hear my blood pressure. 